find the possible values of d if real solution exists for this equation, which is x squared plus 5x minus 1 minus d times x squared plus 1 equal to 0. So here, the key word is real solution exists. Okay, so that means this quadratic equation has a real solution. So real solution exists is the key word or key words exist implies a determinant which is b squared minus 4ac is greater than equal to zero. In my previous video I've explained why this determinant is greater than equal to zero. So this in fact has got, uh, uh, this is a combination of two results. This is equal to zero. When you have equal to zero, you have equal roots. And when b squared minus 4ac is greater than zero, you have two roots. So for both those situations, you can write this together. So now to identify a, b, and c, we need to expand this. So let me change color. So expanding the given equation, we can say x squared plus 5x minus 1 and expanding with minus d. So this is minus dx squared. Uh, minus d times plus 1 is minus d is equal to 0. So bringing the x squared together, so this is x squared minus dx squared plus 5x minus d minus 1 is equal to 0. So factoring the x, uh, x out, I can write this as 1 minus d times x squared plus 5x minus, uh, okay, so let me write plus, okay, so plus uh, minus d minus 1 is equal to 0. Now when you're comparing with the standard form or the general form of a quadratic equation, this is ax, AX squared plus bx. This is the general form, so this implies your a is uh, 1 minus d, if b is 5, and your c is minus d minus 1. Okay, so using in this form, so let me again change color. So this implies we are going to use this formula. So b squared minus 4ac is greater than or equal to 0. This implies your b is 5, so I can write 5 squared minus 4 times a, a is 1 minus d, and your c is minus d minus 1 is greater than or equal to 0. This implies this is 25. If you factor a minus out here, this minus, if you factor a minus, this will become d plus 1, and this negative 4 will become positive 4. So this is plus d plus 4 times 1 minus d, times 1 plus d is greater than or equal to 0. So this implies, so this is a simple algebraic manipulation plus 4 times, this is 1 minus d squared is greater than or equal to 0. This implies, let's expand this further, so this is 25 plus 4 minus 4 d squared is greater than 0. Till here, this is simple algebraic manipulation. There is no uh, brainy stuff here. So this is minus 4d squared plus 29 is greater than or equal to 0. Till here, I would say this is simple algebraic manipulations. Now from here, you have to think critically. So what are we saying? This is a quadratic equation. Again, minus 4d squared plus 29 is greater than or equal to 0. So what does this mean? So let's understand this algebra, sorry, graphically now. So, so this is your y-axis, and this is your x-axis. Okay, so this is your x and your y. Now, if you have a little bit of understanding of quadratic, this is a upside-down parabola. If you graph this, this is an upside down parabola, so it would be somewhat like this. 
Okay, so here this is this equation of this is minus 4d squared plus 29. Uh, this is the equation of uh, minus 4d squared plus 29. Okay, now by just looking at the equation, I can say the y intercept is equal to 29. Okay, and this these two points is important okay we need to find these two points so these two points okay now let's understand this graphically now what what does this equation tell me if this is a quadratic equation we want to find all the values of uh, d which satisfies this inequality okay so here yeah, basically this you can split this into two parts this is this is minus 4d squared plus 29 is equal to 0 is equal to 0 and this is minus 4d squared plus 29 plus 29 is greater than 0 so here we are asking the question when is it going to be equal to 0 this minus 4d squared plus 29 is going to be 0 at these two points at this point and this point so this is what I want to know. So let me call this say x1 or let me call this say not x1. So let me call this your d, d axis because this is a non, not in terms of x, this is in terms of y. So in, in terms of d. So let me call this d1 and this is d2. So at these d1 and d2, this minus 2d squared plus 29 is equal to 0. And for these values, between these two, d1 and d2, this is greater than 0. So for this, this part of the parabola satisfies this equation, and these two points satisfies this equation. So the, this point is minus 29. So if you solve this, if you solve this, can you understand? Uh, minus 4d squared first let me do it without the calculator minus 4d squared is minus 29 so 4d squared is equal to 29 so d squared is 29 over 4 29 over 4 so your d is plus or minus square root of 29 over 2 to be exact so your d1 is minus square root of 29 over 2 and this this d2 is plus 29 square root of 29 over 2 which is this would be minus 2 point minus 2.69 into dp and this would be 2.69 so let's let me show this on a calculator okay so if you go run menu menu 1 if you go shift square root of 29 divided by 2 it is is equal to minus 2.69 okay so let me show this on a uh, graph menu if you go to graph and type in minus 4x squared plus 29 i need to change the scale because i know the y-intercept is 29 so shift menu uh, your x uh, scale is uh, all right i don't want negative and y scale i want up to say 30. and the scale of say 3 would do and then draw it so this is this is what okay so this is this is your y intercept so you go y intercept is 29 and these are called the roots so g solve the roots minus 2.69 and plus 2.69 okay so we can say to incorporate all the solutions together in an inequality we can say this implies your d is less than equal to plus 29 over 2 plus let me write this properly plus 29 over 2 plus square root of 29 over 2 and greater than equal to 
minus square root of 29 over 2. So when it is equal to this number, when it's equal to minus 29 over 2 or plus square root of 29 over 2, this is equal to 0. And when it is between these two values, it is greater than 0. Or in other words, or if you think in a different way, when it is less than this value, you can't solve it or you will be, this will not, this will be less than zero. For this, what I mean is, this is less than zero. This branch is less than zero, this much is less than zero, and this is also less than zero. We are interested in those values of D, which makes this quadratic equation equal to zero, which is D1 and D2, or greater than zero. That is when it is between D1 and D2. So this is basically your D1, and this is your D2.